your girl Erin Monique and I'm back with another video. As you can see by the title of this video, you guys are here to see me turn this wig here, this blonde unit, 613 unit, 613 blonde, whatever you want to call it, um, into yellow. So what I'm going to do, I already have my things here. This is literally the easiest process. If you haven't seen this before, I do have an older video on my channel. I want to give you guys another one to actually see me so the whole thing so here's the wig here is my bucket of water this i probably should get a little bit more water i don't want to use too much water because sometimes it won't come out the yellow or the color that you need because it's too watery you don't want to have too much water and then it just won't just won't be right but anyway i have my got to be glue freezing spray that you can find anywhere as you guys already know walmart target beauty supply store cvs walgreens literally anywhere um and the dye that i'm using today is kiss colors i've never used this color before but as you all know i moved and i don't live in the same area so i went to the beast store and they didn't have yellow in the door brand so i'm like you know i've seen people use this one before so we're going to be testing out this color this brand kiss colors to see if it does the proper thing and all the thing else i have here is a brush and a white tooth comb so I'm going to take this free spray and I'm literally just going to spray this in the front of the unit pretty much across the lace in the front and there we have it You know what, I'm actually gonna let that dry for a little bit and I'll be back. You know what, no, forget that. I'm gonna let that dry and in the meantime, in between time, what I'm going to do is take my Kiss Colors and pour this into my bucket of water. The water isn't cold, isn't hot, it's pretty much lukewarm, so it does, I don't think it really matters if it's cold or hot, but um, as long as you have water, you die. And a bowl, you're good to go. So I'm gonna take this and pretty much, I don't know how yellow I want this. So. That's about half, if that. I'm gonna take, that actually <coughs> smells pretty good. It don't smell like regular hair dye. I don't know what's different about it. Also, um, it's made with aloe vera water, so I don't know if that makes a difference. It's no ammonia, no peroxide, or sulfates. So, we'll see. And you want to, when you pour your dye in there, you want to make sure it's evenly spread out throughout the water. Because if you do, say if you use red and you have big clunks of red in there, some pieces of your hair will be those chunks of reds and some will be the red that you want it to be because it's not evenly spread out in the water. But it seems like this dye pretty much just did its own thing when it went in here. I had no problems. And yeah, so what I usually do is I usually like do a strand and make sure that's the color that I want it to be. But if you're just like literally playing around, don't care, it's not really for nothing, just have at it. Go. That's diesel. Let's go with the flow. Pull her up a little bit. Take a piece. Hello, honey. I'm actually gonna bring this in front of the camera so you can see. That's yellow, about as yellow as that can. Back there. So this is the piece that I just dipped in. I actually think that's like perfect. Let me find out his colors is the truth. And I've been using the wrong thing this whole time. Anyways, back on subject, this is all mixed in. I'm just gonna get right to it. Let's not waste any time here. The 
free spray. It's not all the way dry, but I believe we'll be fine. So, here's the wig as you see it. See my black cap under me. This is a wig that I made by hand. That's why the cap is black. But I'm really nervous. Uh, and as it's going to the bowl, I probably should use a bigger bowl. Look at these tips. It's yellow already. <laughs> this is pretty much it I am going to take this wig and I'm going to squeeze it over the bowl the water looks a little way more yellower now since we've dyed the hair look how yellow those roots are on this wig when I say this is going to be everything So you guys, this is how I watercolor my wigs with the water, the coat, the dye, and a bowl. Easiest process ever, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all for this video. And I would like to thank you all for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for other hair tips on how to make wigs and how to bleach your knots. Any other wig things, I most likely have them on my channel. And make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, share with a friend, Tell a friend to tell a friend and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. I love y'all.